Okay, here I want to explain a little bit about powdery mildew, uh, which we can see evident right here on the leaves, which is uh, commonly seen, sadly, in many grow operations, uh, because it can spread quite easily and cause issues in many grow spaces. So first off, powdery mildew, it's probably one of the top concerns for growers, and it literally looks like white powder, which is actually mycelium that can produce spores. Mycelium, once seen with the naked eye, it's an indication there's much more environment control measures should be taken. What this means is once you see it at this level, if you consider it at the microscopic level, you're not just seeing one small mycelium, you're seeing many, many mycelium on the surface, giving, as the name implies, that powdered look to the leaves. And that's an indication. Um, you're probably a little late to the game, but you should definitely be employing a control measure at the first sign. Now, where to look? Well, this is mainly found on the leaves, so this is the area you should be focusing your scouting. You want to look at the most shaded leaves that are either under one leaf or deeper into the canopy. Now, it can occur in areas near the buds, but usually it first shows up at those shaded and sheltered areas that are away from the light and also tend to have higher humidity levels. It typically will start also not only on these leaves, but on the underside of these leaves. So you can see it here on the upper end, but typically when we're scouting or searching to find those, I see them at the very early stages, you want to turn these leaves over and look at the undersides, because those tend to be a little bit more protected and a little bit more moisture content. Now how to prevent powdery mildew? Well, it thrives in conditions that are humid to the point of dew forming on the leaves. In addition, to large temperature swings can encourage the development. As a result, you can have a little bit more pressure in the spring and the fall because of those temperature fluctuations that naturally occur. The goal to prevention is to maintain a dry leaf surface and avoid large changes in temperature in your grow operation. And if you're an indoor, you have a little bit more control over this. If you're outdoor or tunnel production, keep in mind those fall and spring times when you're having those wide changes in temperature. If you can moderate that, that can be a way to reduce and hopefully prevent powdery mildew formation. How to control it will oxidate, as we see here. The stabilized concentrated hydrogen peroxide is good for a quick spray option um, to accomplish the same end goal with much less work. So the advantage here is you're able to kind of quickly clean the leaves and hopefully then go through and implement um, preventive measures. This is a good product because hydrogen peroxide doesn't last very long, so the chance of having a long-term residue is um, basically vastly reduced. If you're looking for a little bit more stable control, uh, milk can actually be used, and that may sound a little weird or strange, but 40% milk and 60% water, whole milk is preferred due to the fat spreading it more evenly across the leaf surface. And with the pH change that occurs with milk, with the coating of the leaf surface, uh, this is a great organic way uh, to try to control uh, powdery mildew, especially once it's seen on the early stages. And while this may not kill the actual mycelium, it definitely slows down the progression and ideally will prevent the initial formation of powdery mildew if you know that you're in a high pressure situation.